What's going on guys? My name is Pwn and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. This is one of my favorite fucking games that I know nothing about, no matter how many hours I've put into it. Like, if I look, we've put 22 hours into this game. I don't know jack shit. I'm gonna be completely honest. I know nothing. So this is gonna be a lot of trial and tribulation. And also, I want you guys to know, up front right now, I'm not editing any of these videos. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with editing. I've got no clue what's going on. You guys are going to get raw stuff, and a lot of that comes from the fact that I stream in my off time, and I've never had to worry about editing, so I'm not going to start now until it becomes like, I should really edit these videos. So you guys are going to see a lot of literally everything, like me staring at stuff, trying to figure out what the hell's going on, all kinds of stuff. It's going to be super fun, but we're going to jump right the hell in. Let's do survival, obviously. Oh, there's fucking so much stuff now. All right, let's go for the hardest one, right? Survival chance is slim, slim, marginal, moderate, moderate, likely, likely, probable, ideal. Let's just go super basic, just ideal. Just straight out the gate, ideal as hell. Give us our best chance, right? I hope so. Now, I also want you to know that out of habit, I'm going to look this way at my monitor. Also, hi, welcome to my bedroom. Uh, we've got family coming to stay. Uh, super soon, so I had to move everything out of the office so that that could be the spare room. <laughs> so instead of seeing like a, a blank bed in the background and stuff, you actually see my son's bed, you see my and my wife's bed. There's a whole mess over here you guys can't even see. It's wild. So we got Joshua, Otto, and Ruby. Farming, decorating. I read that as decorating and it's doctoring. Operating, ranching, suit wearing, doctoring, decoration, supply. Not feeling any of that. Plus three, creativity, three, agriculture. Agriculture is super important because we need plants, not only for food, but also for oxygen. So what about getting somebody plus seven cuisine, 35% cooking speed, increased machinery. She's not really gonna be doing machinery. She'll be cooking. Decreased athletics. Minus 50% run speed. She'd be super fucking slow unless she's operating a machine. Oh, seven medicine. That's actually great. She farts a lot, though. Putting gases in. Narcoleptic. Okay, let's just start with one. I'm gonna get one that I like. I don't care about the creativity. I'm gonna be honest. Supplying. Holy shit. Super fast tidying speed. Airing capacity. That's huge. Decreased air consumption rate, too. That's awesome. Devin, you are going to be Slurple. Welcome to the team, Slurple. Ranching. I don't want pets. I'm going to be honest. Great building. Night Owl gains nighttime attribute bonus. Decreased athletics. I'm really great at building. Okay, so I can build. I can move stuff around. I need somebody who can mine really, really well. But I don't know what that would be like around. Also, one of those definitely looked like Mark Flyers when we went by. I mean, a doctor, a constructor, and a supplier. Who who's who's really good at digging? Okay, so we gotta get just like ah, fucking out of this world. Just I can dig like crazy. Farming, farming, medicine, strength, and science. Science would be really important too, though. Shit. Oh no, I need somebody who's just like out of this world at digging. Seven farming, like I think, yeah, look at you go, but you're a mouth breeder, you need more oxygen. Get better running though. Decrease athletics, decrease bladder. You're gonna suck a lot of air. You're gonna be slow, right? Slow, yeah. Half run speed, oh, oh, oh. And you are gonna pee a lot. That's okay. Lindsay, I am renaming you to Lurp and Nicola. You're going to be We've got Slurple, Plurp, and Blurp. Perfect. Name the colony. Uh, Live, Pliss, and Bark. Let's go. No. 
All right, you've woken a target location, but colonizing colonization efforts are already hit. I can't read. I've already hit a hitch. I was supposed to land at the planet's surface, became trapped many miles underground instead. Although the conditions are not ideal, it is imperative I establish a colony here and begin mounting efforts to escape. We're gonna pause everybody right off the bat. We gotta start looking at what we're gonna do here. Now, I wanna knock this out. Maybe, maybe. I wanna, I wanna combine these two water sources. It's incredibly important that we get water source going. You know, we get algae that we can take for food. What is the key for dig G? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to dig out. I should be able to actually get all of that. Let's get all of that going. Uh, in terms of what else can we do? We can construct things, priority. I can't build a single thing yet. Cause I just need stuff. So let's do that. We're gonna super fast too. So in terms of building, we're gonna build a ladder from here down. Okay, so there's the ladder. We're going to stop because I also need the pitcher pump is going to have to go somewhere. So we're going to have to dig. Realistically, we're going to have to dig this out and this out. Now, what kind of gas is this? This is un just unbreathable gas. Then we've got very breathable oxygen. So they're going to mesh together. Matter of fact, we'll put a ladder here, here. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. And then once all this is knocked out, then we'll be able to put our stuff. Now, all of this, I should be reading. We're not going to. Can I dig these plants out? I can. So dig the plants out, because I don't know if they're going to give us stuff that we need, but it would be really nice. Look at them go. You guys are just getting these plants. And we're going to be able to clean up. So let's uh, move debris to storage. All this stuff. That stuff. So we have married these two water sources together, but not super well. We're going to let this ladder extend. To, like, there. Actually, no. We should cancel that one, too. Because... You have to go here. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. All right, so let's pause. Uh, use the walled in floors. We're gonna take that out, and we're gonna take that out. We're gonna take this out. That should be good. So we've got carbon dioxide over here that we do not want. I don't want unbreathable. Um, we definitely need to make sure that we're taking all this debris. Putting that shit up. And this, we need to up. There I go. How is that so unbreathable right there? Barely breathable, unbreathable. You're cold. Oh, I gotta get you guys a bathroom. Oh, that is super important. Okay. Running out of food, too, so we gotta be careful. All of our stuff fell. Storage is unavailable. Should probably put a storage bin. That would help. Let's do two, just so that we're prepared for the future. Now in terms of plumbing, we're gonna put our outhouse here. We got a triage cot. The wash basin is super important. We get all that stuff made. So I have a bathroom, which would be great. And we have a water source, which is fantastic. Storage unavailable. Oh, I'll put everything in there. And everything in there. These two are just going to hold everything. And that'll be fine. We're going to cancel picking that stuff up. Oh, no, we're not. We need to get all of it. We, we have access to getting all of this. Store all that stuff. When you go that way, you have to wash your hands. We also need a place to dump waste. 
what we'll do is we'll actually take the tile over. What is this? Is this is more carbon dioxide though? So we're gonna introduce a little bit of carbon dioxide to the ecosystem. I don't know what else to do with that because we also have to expand, which sucks. But we're gonna encase this. Cancel that one. So let's think this through. Okay, so we're gonna encase this. So that it's just dumping hazardous materials. I still wanna dig this out. But then I wanna put the bottle emptier right there. So it just goes right into here. This is eventually gonna have to come down further. What if Okay, hold on. What if we don't do it here? What is the cancel button? See, that would make sense. We'll cancel that. We'll actually bring it down even further. Just for the sake of expansion. We'll dig everything out in here. Um, This is going to come over further. Like right here. How tall do I want these to be? Oh, I really don't want to get into all of that carbon dioxide, though. That's... That's going to be outside for now. I don't know what else to do. So the door will be here. It'll go up to here. And then straight across. But I don't want to cut off our oxygen level yet. This gives so much oxygen. We were talking like... Breathable oxygen, excavating oxalite increases its emission rate, but depletes the ore more rapidly. Consumable ore, melting point of 1,409.9 degrees Celsius. Celsius. Goodness. Guys, words are going to be hard. Just want you to know that. Um, so we'd actually have to come up more to like right here for it to be worth. So that we can keep that oxalite for now. Got a little bit of unbreathable air, but then also breathable air there. This is just, it's gonna be tall. But we can dig this stuff out. And we can dig this stuff out. And all of this stuff out. So we've got somewhere for water waste. We've gotta put a door here. Enclose this area without blocking liquid or gas flow. I need metal ore, but I can put one there once it's done. You guys need a place to sleep as well. Three beds. Space for a door. And then up. You're going to have to have ladders throughout to get to all this stuff. But let's see what they can do now. And then that will determine what happens in the future. Now, you are going to have to dig this stuff out, this stuff out, this stuff out. While not getting into the carbon dioxide. Can you guys do that? Yes. So, we're going to let this ride. We can make the doors now. We're going to put one there. That's all I have enough for. Now, I can do another one. Now, I can do another one. There we go. There we go. Door there. Now they're gonna have to build this that way. Then we're gonna work on agriculture, which is gonna be super important, and also power, which is gonna be wild. We have the oxygen diffuser now as well, which I wanna put, as a matter of fact, this room is gonna be super cramped for them and they're gonna be sad about it. We're gonna dig this out, but I mean, like they're able to do one, two, three, four from standing height. So two above them. They can get to this, they can get to this, and they'll be able to get to all of that. Okay. These are filling up so fast. I don't know if that's good or bad, though. Like, we have a lot of materials, but I don't know what we can do with it. Um, Let's go ahead and set priority for all of this. We should actually turn this up to a 9. Make this the most important, because this is sleeping area, which is going to mess with their, their mental health the most. 
So we gotta get the floors in. We're gonna have to send somebody down eventually to dig this out because we need that, uh, that algae. Now if we look, how much algae do we have? Where can I see that? Organic? Algae, 1,425 and a half kilos. You got stuck down here, which is never fun. You guys actually can't breathe in that water. Plurp, I need you to get out of the water. I just, I need you to. Might as well dig out that algae. Just at some point. No rush. Um... Actually, gonna deconstruct this and put a ladder there. And we'll build a ladder straight down from there. Now there can be disease. Colony requires a food source and oxygen. Yes, th those things I know. As a matter of fact, oxygen. Let's go ahead and put a diffuser here and here, right next to the staircases where they're going to be coming up, and we're gonna have to put power to those. You still have plenty to do. So let's continue this ladder up and take it straight across. Continue this ladder up and take it straight across just so that we can get all this stuff dug out. Now they have beds, which should make them super happy. This oxalite still came out. Uh, tomorrow. I still need them to do this, but they need to have access to it. So in order for them to have access to it, we gotta make these nine. I really hope I didn't just mess myself up. Also, playing like super fast, like sped up, I feel like is a really bad idea. But I'm really good at bad ideas. So that's all scaffolding that they're going to use to get up to all of that stuff. Um, we need to make a power source and a food source, which means as we go up, I'm going to create Let's do some more forward expansion ideas here. So let's say I Continue this ladder all the way up, right? Let's just we'll hash this out together here. I continue this ladder all the way up Cancel this and Put a ladder there it's Almost like these are our lifeblood that go straight through because we're gonna go vertical We're gonna have to go off kilter a bit here because we've got polluted water and polluted water but we have a full untapped liquid source up here now we could set piping and all kinds of stuff to allow all of our water from here from here what the hell is that a cool steam vent pretty unbreathable gas that's really cool but we can force all of our water together to create a reservoir and then we could also go down now we'd only go down to like right here because well actually right here because i want one level between the polluted water and all of this polluted oxygen and us it's also going to give us some oxygen from here a ton of algae which is going to be great so i'm going to be able to go down as well as up now we can end up what we could end up doing is Boxing this in. Yeah, so we're just going to hash this out here. It's boxing this in. And making this our water source. We're going to have raw water here, obviously. Uh, we could make a room. Shit. An area that's fully dedicated just to power. Right here. And put a med bay right here. We've got rooms there. I'm worried about doing this one yet, though. Purely based off of I don't want our water to go anywhere. Matter of fact, I would have to not do it here. I would have to come one over just to make sure that we didn't mess with our water. 
th that's the idea for this right here is all of our water comes to right here um let's bring this ladder over so that we can dig all of this out okay that's the current idea and plan i want to go up but i also want to build a a bunch of our base of like need like necessity operations down here and i'll be able to take these ladders down from ground level which is going to be great um we could actually deconstruct this here because this ladder is going to go straight up this works we can make this work. We can definitely make this work. Hell yeah. All right, guys. So we've got the idea for our base set out. We've got the the initial setup hashed out. And I really feel like this is a great place for us to go ahead and stop. I'm going to let these constructions finish. And then at the start of the next video, you guys are going to see all of this hashed out and ready. So as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and I'll show you all of this is going to come out. All of this is going to come out. It's going to mess with this water here and here, but I'm going to actually mop it up and I'm going to take it over to this and it'll probably just go into here and whatever happens with that happens with that. Uh, I know that we're going to need ladders here just to ensure that we can get to all of this stuff so we can get it out. Uh, we're going to need a ladder that comes down right here. And then it'll have to tee off right here. I'll have to do another one right here just to be safe. So that'll be done. Uh, the flooring for this part will be done, which will be great. Um, and of course, it'll need a ladder here, here, here. I might need another one, you know, just to be safe. We'll do one here as well, just so we can get all of this stuff out. So this is what you can look forward to seeing. You're going to see... I don't know what I'm going to do with this area yet, but it's going to be something. Uh, it's almost like a wide open just area right here. As this water goes down and we get all of our water into one secular area, it's going to really be helpful in determining what we're going to do with some stuff, uh, you know, where different areas are going to go. Of course, we need med bays. We're going to have to make room for expansion as we get more people, all kinds of stuff. But guys, this is where I'm going to end it. Uh, if you haven't already, guys, please, please, please do drink some more water. It is incredibly important that you do so, as well as I know that we're all kind of stuck uh, you know, a lot of people are having to hold down in place or everything going on with the, uh, the pandemic that we're all going through. But do yourself and me a favor and think about your mental health, guys. It is in no way, shape, or form weakness to talk to somebody about what you feel or why you feel that way. And I promise you that if you do, you'll be my hero. You guys have a good one. I'm going to see you super duper soon in the next one. Bye!